Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about grid settings and snaps in Godot 3. We'll start with the basics of the grid, customizing the grid, and then we'll finish with the snap settings. In the 3D viewport, you can turn the grid on and off by coming up to View and down to View Grid. Now the first thing to note about the grid are the grid units. In Godot, each one of these grid squares are a meter, and that's important if you want to build something to real-world scale. For example, this cube in our scene right now is 2 units by 2 units, or 2 meters by 2 meters, and in feet that would be roughly 6 foot by 6 foot. Now you can't really change the metrics of the grid, but there are some options that are available to you. So in the editor settings, under general, if we scroll down to editors in 3D, we have four main options in here. Primary grid color, secondary grid color, grid size, and primary grid steps. The secondary grid color will adjust the smaller boxes, our meter by meter boxes. And then our primary color, that will adjust the lighter lines, the lines that are further apart. And then grid size, this isn't actually going to change your grid size, but this is going to change your grid extents. Right now you can see where the grid ends. If you change this number, your grid will go further out or further in. And then last, we have the primary grid steps. This relates to those lighter lines that are further apart. If you change this value, you move that line further out or further in. Now anytime you change these values, the engine is going to ask you to save and restart. Next, let's talk about snaps. If you come up to this magnet icon and you click on it, this will turn snaps on. If it's blue, it's on. If it's white, it's off. You can also toggle snaps by hitting Y on the keyboard, and it won't toggle the icon, but if you hold down control, you're also going into snaps. Snaps directly affects how you move, rotate, and scale an object. So by default, in move mode, you'll see with snaps turned on, when you move an object, it'll snap to the grid. In rotate and scale, it's not really linked to the grid. It's based on snapping by degrees. So rotate by default is set to five degrees, and scale is set to a percentage base. If you want to adjust how these snap settings work, you come up to transform and configure snap. So from here, you can change translate snap to more than one grid unit, half of a grid unit, Rotate snap, you can change the degrees. So if you want to change this to 45. And then the scale snap, this is a little different. This is percentage based. And let me show you what I mean. So with the scale snap set to 50%, if we scale this 50%, you'll see that it increased on either side by 0.5. But if we let go and then we scale it back in, you'll see that now on each side, it's less than a unit. It's 0.25 off. So I recommend playing with these settings to get used to them and understand them better. So the 2D viewport is very similar, but it's also very different from the 3D. To turn the grid on and off, we need to come up to view and click on show grid. You can also toggle the grid by hitting G on the keyboard. The grid size in 2D is measured by pixels. If you wanna change the grid size, you come up to these three dots and you come to configure snap, you'll see grid step. As an example, I'll set it to two. To turn snaps on is very similar. You come to the viewport toolbar and there's a magnet icon, but the hotkey to toggle it is shift S. Now having snaps turned on isn't enough. You also need to come up to these three dots. And if you want to snap by moving or rotating, you need to make sure that snap to grid or use rotation snap are turned on. In move mode, the object will always snap to the grid that you have set up. You can't change the snapping. For rotation, you come up to those three dots and you go to configure snap again, and you can change the rotation step. And skim mode does not have a snap setting. All right, that covers grid settings and snaps. If this video was helpful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.